finally blessed with this update. One UI based on Android 12 is currently rolling out for the Tab S6 Lite with the usual staggered release. So if you still haven't got it yet, check back every now and then. As we're jumping from One UI 3.1 Android 11, we get quite a few bonuses. So I'll quickly touch on some of the more interesting ones that you might come across in Tab Life. The most noticeable thing right off the bat is the Material U goodness found in Wallpaper and Style. Here you can find the color palette menu, which gives a nice choice over some different color picks based on your wallpaper, and a few different screens to give you an idea of how things will look. Also, with a lick of paint comes some new animations like charging and opening widgets. I didn't really notice much other change though. It's all very subtle and minimal. Probably for the best to not strain this hardware more than it needs. Widgets. This is mostly just a rounding of corners to keep things looking uniform. The widget menu is nice and simple, but smart widgets don't look to have been included. And there's not much in the way of actual new stuff here. The quick settings menu hasn't changed a whole lot either. I do think this style works better on a tablet over Google's big bubbles though. You do get the thicker brightness slider matching the others like volume some extra buttons up top, and the colours matching the overall theme. Samsung keyboard got a few additions and integrations too. Grammarly can be connected in the third party section, but I didn't notice all that much difference, with the overall experience of spelling and grammar still feeling better on Gboard. Further to this, they've also tried adding the super fun emoji kitchen, and eh. Again, it's awkward and has maybe too much energy. It's kind of missing the unexpected discovery and simplicity of Gboard's version. Media got a slight tweak with a better lock screen notification that so far works far more often than the previous one, even with a lock device. There's also better control for the five people out there using picture in picture letting you modify the size with pinch gestures. App split screen also gets an improvement with multi-window for all apps toggle in labs. Helpful if you have any stubborn apps that still haven't been updated to work in split screen. Privacy got a nice little boost too, with the privacy dashboard showing sensor use and being able to turn some of them off entirely. But it doesn't look to extend to the camera. We also get the little green indicator in the top right when the camera or mic is being used not for location. Speaking of location, it can now be set to approximate in app rather than giving out your exact coordinates, giving a bit of peace of mind. Device care is another newish dashboard. It's been around before, but it's gotten a facelift. In here, you'll also find the new RAM Plus feature, letting you use some system storage as slow RAM. It might help if you juggle a lot of apps, but I don't expect to see a huge difference. Anything to have Samsung be a bit less aggressive with background app management is good in my books though. The share menu also got a favorite section, but it still feels off and awkward to use. Some minor mentions that you might come across is the safety and emergency section in the settings. Not much here though. And some updated system apps like camera, calendar, and gallery. Some devices got a Magic Eraser clone in the Gallery app, but that doesn't look to have made its way to the Tab S6 Lite. We also seem to be missing the display extra dim and extra bright options, so that's a little disappointing. There's of course also heaps more tweaks and refinements across the board, but these are the ones that stood out for me. Overall performance has been fine. It was initially a bit slower after the update, but things did get better. As always, I'm happy that updates are still improving this device, even if it takes a little while. Next up, I'm hanging out for those tablet updates, Android 12 L. Cheers for watching guys. If you found this helpful, a like and a sub really help the channel grow up a little. While you're here, why not check out how the S6 Lite compares to the S4?